I had a few minutes between meetings, so I wanted to take some time and show how we can install Kumonte for some basic testing. This is not a production install, but what I will walk through is uh, the full install from selecting uh, an AWS instance, uh, deploying QMTA, and getting it to a functional state. You can see that in, I'm going to do build this in AWS, and I'm just going to create a name for it. I'm going to select an Ubuntu uh, 22 install. I'm going to put it on the smallest free tier instance I can. This is a T2 Micro. Uh, select some basic uh, security settings and um, provide a drive size of about 25 gig. So it just has enough to install. It's not production at all. Now we fire up, fire that up, connect to it and start doing the basic uh, OS updates, uh, doing all the updates and the upgrades on the operating system first. Uh, I'm going to install bind uh, so that you have a, a local bind, a local cache bind to start with. It's really important to not break DNS while you're doing this. I'm also going to turn off Postfix and Cupid uh, because they can, they do have a tendency to interfere with uh, any other <clears throat> MTA that runs on your on your system. And then once those are finally done, uh, you can actually just copy and paste the install instructions right out of our our um, our instructions and let it run. Once that's done and it's finished uh, installing, you can start it with a, a system control uh, start command and then test it. I just did a telnet localhost 25 to test it. You can see that it's actually running. And there you go. Uh, working install of Kumo MTA in less than five minutes.